breaking news. In that breaking news, a massive explosion at a Glenville bridge tonight after a truck carrying explosive material crashed into it. CBS 6's Brianna Suparty is live at the scene. It's on Maple Avenue. She's with us now with the very latest. And Bri, we're seeing an awful lot of videos coming in tonight showing really an absolute inferno there. Yeah, it's been a chaotic night here on Maple Avenue in Glenville. Firefighters have definitely have their work cut out for them tonight. And they're still here on scene, dozens of them working on the bridge. You can see um, right after a truck crashed into it earlier tonight. And we're, we're told the truck carrying some type of flammable material, either natural gas or propane, and it crashed into the bridge just after 6.30 tonight. And there was actually a train passing through right when the explosion happened. Witnesses catching the fiery scene on camera. The train was able to make it through without much damage, we're told. And witnesses who saw the explosion described a massive fireball with flames soaring a couple hundred feet in the air, accompanied by a loud boom that could be heard for miles. The bridge was fully engulfed, but miraculously, the driver survived. Somehow he managed to get out of the truck and even walked to the ambulance on his own. We're told he did suffer third degree burns to his face and hands. He was airlifted to Westchester Burn Center. We're told the driver said he didn't see the low bridge sign. The bridge, as well as the notorious Glen Ridge Bridge nearby, has been the cause of countless truck crashes in recent years. I spoke with the police chief and the town supervisor. They said this crash with explosive material not only uh, made battling the fire challenging, but it was something they feared would happen. It's a different type of investigation when you come upon an accident like this with a, with a truck that's full of um, potential uh, flammable gas. Um, it's uh, we didn't we didn't know and still don't know whether or not there's uh, still tanks that are on the truck or on the trailer that are still full. Um, so they got to make sure they get the fire out to uh, lower the temperature so that no other explosions occur, which I think they've done a great job doing. Actually, one thing um, is that since that laser detection system has been deployed, the majority of the hits you would agree have they've been increased. here now. They've have increased, increased here. here now. So it's moved the hits from there to here. The issue we have many issues that's a state bridge this is now a county road so now we have another government agency to deal with but we've got to get the state and the county together and we've got to address this issue this is a very dangerous area and tonight it just just highlights that Residents near the bridge were evacuated. It's unclear if they've been able to return to their homes. The explosive crash also knocked out power to surrounding neighborhoods. We're told firefighters and investigators will be here through the night investigating this crash. For now, reporting live in Glenville, Brianna Supardi, CBS 6 News.